Hey guys, this is Kronos, just bringing you a quick video about pure coin minting. Minting is the process of creating more pure coins with the pure coins you already have, and it's also used to secure the network. It can be done by anyone who owns pure coins, so if you have pure coins already or you're thinking about buying them, you should definitely watch this video to understand how it all works. Now, if you already own the pure coins and you just want to know how to do the actual minting, just click this link right here and jump over to the demonstration video where you learn how to use the minting software. But let's look at the technical side now. The first thing you should know about PeerCoin minting is that it's used to secure the network. PeerCoin is a proof-of-stake network, which means that all of its users who own PeerCoins can work together to confirm transactions. This is in contrast to a proof-of-work network, such as Bitcoin, where you must purchase specialized mining hardware in order to secure the network. This means that PeerCoin is extremely energy efficient because minting doesn't take much power. It can be run as a background process. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty details. The most difficult thing to grasp about minting is that each transaction is considered its own set of pure coins for minting purposes. So let's say you purchased some pure coins and sent them to your pure coin wallet. That's when the timer starts. Now the coins must age for 30 days before it can begin minting. So it's for patient users. If you plan to spend your pure coins right away, you probably don't even need to worry about minting. If you were paid in pure coins a couple of weeks later, those pure coins are in a separate transaction. So they have their own timer and they have to wait 30 days as well. Now, if a transaction successfully mints a block and receives its reward, it will receive the reward only for the pure coins in that transaction. So if you have multiple transactions in your wallet, different transactions can be minting at different times. Now, if you wait a while, your likelihood of minting a block will increase, and that goes up to a certain level. Once your pure coin transaction hits 90 days, its chance of minting is maximized. It can't go beyond that. So once your wallet is 90 days old, you might as well pull it out and start minting. Now the reward for minting is 1% annualized. This means if your coins sit for an entire year, then they will mint a 1% reward. But if you mint quicker than that, it won't be the full 1%. For example, let's say your pure coins waited for 90 days and then minted a block. 90 days is about a quarter of a year, so your pure coins would receive about a quarter of 1% in interest. Now you still want to mint as quickly as possible because then you could mint again with that interest to get a compounded effect and earn even more. The last thing you should know about minting is that after a transaction successfully mints a block, it's frozen in place for 520 blocks. That turns out to be about three and a half days. So this is something to keep in mind. If you plan to spend all of your pure coins, you probably shouldn't mint just before, because if you successfully mint a block, they'll be stuck for a couple of days. Usually not a big problem, but it's something you should keep in mind. So that's it for the technical side of minting. If you'd like to know how to actually mint with your client, we've got a tutorial video right here. You can simply click that link. If you've got any questions, go ahead and post in the purecointalk.org forums, or you can post in the comments of this video. I'd be happy to take your questions. I'm Kronos. Thanks for watching.